Today, we're talking about T-Mobile's Starlink satellite service direct to phone, and we're comparing it to the built-in Apple service that comes with iPhones, iPhone 14 and greater. We'll have the details right after the break. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today we're in the beautiful mountains of Colorado, and we're doing some satellite testing with satellite to smartphone communication. Now, today we're testing on the iPhone, which has two different systems that you can use. One is the built-in Apple system uh, that comes with every iPhone that's at least iPhone 14 or greater that's on the latest version of iOS as well as the new T-Mobile and Starlink beta system, which we also have on this phone. Now we've been testing to see how these work in comparison to each other, as well as even if you can send messages from one system and receive on the other, and it turns out that you can. So to start out with the Apple system, this one you have to aim with your phone and you will get an SOS message at the top of your screen. It will have a little satellite symbol next to it. And then when you go to the satellite setting on your phone, it will tell you which direction to point your phone to look at the nearest satellite. Now these satellites are moving, so to stay connected to it, you do have to slowly move your phone to keep it in the phone's field of view. And then once it goes over the horizon, it will tell you another satellite that you can connect to and point you to that one. And uh, this is uh, very simple to do. It's very straightforward. However, you do have to have a clear view of the sky and you do have to be able to point the phone towards the satellite. And you can do uh, send and receive messages, uh, contact emergency services, as well as use Find My to uh, send location data. Uh, with the T-Mobile system, with Starlink, it works a little bit differently because this is using cellular uh, connectivity from T-Mobile satellites in space. And instead of the uh, no bars little SOS icon with the satellite at the top of your phone, you will have a, uh, a like a cell phone bar indicator with, and it will say SAT for satellite, which shows that you are connected to the T-Mobile uh, Starlink satellite network. And uh, from what we've seen in our testing, you can have one or two bars of uh, connectivity, depending on where the uh, Starlink satellites are. And this works similar to a uh, cell connection. However, the capabilities are currently very limited with only text messaging that is working right now. And uh, it did work for us. And we could also send a message from uh, our phone using the Starlink system and receive it to another phone that's connected via Apple's satellite system and back and forth. So that's kind of an, an interesting thing that you can uh, basically use both systems to communicate to somebody else when they're on the uh, using the other uh, method of connecting via satellite. So these are both valuable services. They do work when you are off grid. There are some quirks and unusual things that it's not quite clear uh, what the phone is telling you. Uh, for example, we got one message that a person will have up to 24 hours to reply to your text message that you sent over satellite. It's not really clear what that means. Um, and the uh, display will sometimes tell you information, but other times it's kind of confusing what it's doing. Uh, another uh, quirk that we saw was that uh, sometimes it would switch from one mode to the other. So, for example, if we were on the uh, T-Mobile Starlink uh, and there was the Apple satellite in the field of view and you were pointing at it, it would switch to that uh, without really letting you know. So if you want to use one or the other, uh, you need to use the settings in your phone to turn one off or the other on. And we do have another video on that, uh, specifically for the Starlink system, on how if you want to disable the uh, T-Mobile Starlink uh, satellite connection, there is a setting on the iPhone to do that. But uh, it's interesting to have this new capability. It's a great option for those who are uh, off-grid, at 
least for emergencies, and hopefully in the future it will become more robust, straightforward to use. But uh, that's it for today for our testing on satellite to cellular connectivity. We appreciate you watching. Stay connected, and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members or mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.